Water, the original wet stuff. The resource that falls from the sky, fills our rivers, and waters our land. Gold miners, a bunch of old timers who rearrange the Otago landscape, moving water around in their search for the bright, shiny stuff. Farmers, the guys in gumboots who came after the miners. They now shift water around for another reason, to water their crops and grow grass for their animals. Now the trouble with the wet stuff is that it's typically hard to get when we need it most. Our old first come first serve way of issuing water permits has meant that some water users miss out and others get less than they need. Here's where we come in, the ORC. Our job is to enact the RMA and issue water permits to control how farmers take and move water around. If you're a farmer who takes water under an original mining related water permit, known as a deemed permit, it's due to expire in 2021. Now's the time to get your renewal process underway. Our water plan encourages neighbours to work together as part of water management groups. These groups will help decide how everyone will take and share water in the dry times. Should you be part of a group or reapply for your permit as an individual? We suggest you think hard about being part of a group. One of your main jobs will be to help nut out a water rationing plan that all users in your group will abide by in the dry times. This plan will need the OK from the ORC and once OK'd your group will manage the rationing process on the ground. There are big benefits to working as a group, but you can choose to go it alone. Whichever option you select, the steps in the application process from here on in are very similar. First up, you'll need to get hold of some application forms from the ORC. Then you'll need to collect supporting information. We need to know detailed stuff about your creek or river, where you get your water from, your operation and how much you need. Once you've got your info together, prepare us an Assessment of Environmental Effects, or AEE. This is your opinion of what in-stream and flow values might be affected by you taking the water you need. As part of your application, you'll have to ask others with an interest in the water source what they think of your plans. If you can, get their approval in writing. Now, put all that stuff you've collected into your application form. Complete all the questions and send it off to us with the application fee as soon as you can. There will be a little wait while your application is processed. Be sure to give us all the information we ask for, otherwise we might have to send your application back. If your application doesn't need to be publicly notified, you'll hear back within 20 working days. If it does, you'll need to attend a hearing and the whole process will take a bit longer and cost a bit more. Be sure to read your new water permit document carefully when you get it. Make sure you understand what it asks you to do and if you need to make any changes to how you do things, especially if you are part of a water management group. That's it. You can keep on taking your share of the water resource.